The most important part of a tune is the melody. The melody is what makes a song unique. You want to learn the melody really, really well. In fact, you want to own the melody. This song is called Autumn Leaves, and I'm just going to play the first part, the first eight measures. That's called the A section. <laughs> Now I will start messing with it. I will start messing with the rhythm and maybe with some of the notes. So I'm improvising on the melody. You can still recognize the melody, but it's a little bit different. Do this a lot and learn to own the melody. Underneath the melody is the harmony. Jazz musicians usually refer to this as the chord progression. The chord progression will teach you where your main target notes are when you improvise. First, learn to play them from the bottom up. <laughs> progression for the first eight measures of autumn leaves. As soon as you're able to do that, you should stop playing it from the bottom up and see if you can smoothly move from one chord to the next. That might sound like this. <laughs> a chord tone but I moved to the closest chord tone that I could as the chords progressed. If I add rhythm to that you will start hearing that it already sounds like improvisation. <laughs> Sounds kind of like jazz, and we're only playing the chord tones so far. You're probably rolling your eyes right now because it may not be the most fun thing to practice, but I'll show you a more fun way of doing scales than perhaps just running them. Even though you need to do that too. Um, we've been talking about the tune Autumn Leaves. We learned the melody. We learned how to play over the chords of the tune. And now we're going to be using the scales. So how will you know what scale to use over what chords? Well, the internet is a really, really good resource for this. If you can type in a particular chord and ask what scale goes with this chord. If we look at the first four measures of autumn leaves, the first chord is my a minor 7 on an alto saxophone. That's The scale is called an A Dorian scale. The second chord is the D7, which is a D Mixolydian scale. The third chord is a G major 7 chord. That's a G major, seven, a G major scale. And the fourth note, or the fourth chord, fourth chord is a C major 7 uh, chord, and it has a C Lydian scale. That sounded really complicated, and here's the best part about it. All of those are the same scale. A Dorian, D Mixolydian, G major, and C Lydian all come from the same key. They're all from G major scale. So, 
there are really two scales that you need to learn really, really well in jazz. The major scales in all 12 keys and the ascending melodic minor scale. So that one sounds like this. It's just like your major scale with the flatted third note. <laughs> Between those two scales, you can derive almost any chord uh, in the jazz vocabulary or language. So if I use the G major scale and I play the first four measures over autumn leaves, so it sound like this. One, two, mm. <laughs> It sounded kind of like the beginning of Autumn Leaves, right? If you, if you know the song. Now, why did it sound like Autumn Leaves when I was just playing a G major scale? Because I was hitting important chord tones. But I was using my scale to lead between them. I went third of the first chord. Down to the third of the next chord. Then I went up in thirds. I'm now on the third of the next chord. I'm now on the third of the next chord. And then I did an arpeggio of that chord, which are all scale tones.